Think back to the summer of 2003. If you're a party music lover, wherever you were or whatever you were doing worldwide, you were definitely jamming to Lumidi. The then teenager's career and life blew up overnight with her debut hit. But just as quickly as the flame was lit, it extinguished like it never happened when her follow-up projects nowhere near matched its predecessor. Let's find out whatever happened to American rapper, singer, songwriter, Lumi D. Lumi D. Cedeno was born in East Harlem, New York, also known as Spanish Harlem, on October 13, 1984. She was named after her father's sister, Luminado, who had passed away. He decided to go with Lumi, and her mother added the D. When her parents could no longer care for her and her siblings, they all went to live with their grandparents. She began singing and rapping one year later at the age of 12. Her early musical influences were Madonna, salt and Peppa, and especially Mary J. Blige. Music would actually be Lumi D's savior when she started developing some serious health issues. She was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis at the age of 14. As she spent more time at home dealing with the disorder, she discovered and honed her talent for writing. After graduating high school, she collaborated with a local neighborhood producer named DJ Ted Smooth to record her debut single and biggest hit to date, Never Leave You, Uh-Oh, Uh-Oh. Released in May 2003, it rose to number three on the Billboard Hot 100. It also reached the top 10 in over a dozen countries and number one in several European countries. The dancehall vibe track was co-written by rappers Fabulous and Busta Rhymes, who were also featured on the remix. It was originally released on DJ Ted Smooth's independent record label, Straight Face. But due to the success of the track, many other labels started offering deals to both Lumi D and Ted Smooth. Eventually, Lumi D signed with Universal Records, where she released her debut album titled Almost Famous one month later. Unfortunately, while her star was rising, her relationship with DJ Ted Smooth was plummeting. In a 2014 interview with This Is 50 Radio, Lumi D spoke about it saying, We fell out almost immediately. He was kind of like a big brother for me, even before the music thing. He seen me grow up in the neighborhood. As soon as we got this big sudden thing, I feel like this was his shot too. I felt like it was almost like a battle, like he was battling me. And I'm just like, help me. I'm here, I'm your artist. It was a weird situation. It got really ugly. A huge factor for Never Leave You gaining the popularity that it did was due to the use of the already widely popular Diwali rhythm by then up-and-coming dancehall producer Stephen Lenke Marsden. It was one of the most internationally successful dancehall rhythms of all time, garnering hits for many other artists such as Wayne Wonder, Bounty Killer, and Sean Paul. However, since Never Leave You was an R&B song by an R&B singer, club DJs and urban radio stations immediately took notice of this unique factor and started playing it heavily and regularly, mixing it in with the other songs on the rhythm. Around the same time, Queensbred twins Nina Sky burst onto the music scene with their own dancehall rhythm lace track. It only seemed natural that two New York-based Latinas doing similar music would come together to support one another. But that didn't happen. Lumi D says that the girls didn't want to be compared to her and went out of their way to bash her publicly. In the years to follow, she would reflect about how overwhelming all the success was for her. She confessed that it was too fast and she wasn't prepared for all the craziness. After the success of her debut single, especially outside of the country, Lumi D went on tour overseas and stayed out of the mainstream music industry in the US for the next several years. She continued her career in Belgium, Germany, France, and the Netherlands, releasing multiple mixtapes during that time. She also left Universal, which was no skin off her nose, since she claims the deal she had with them wasn't good anyway. 
and signed with German label Mach 1. In 2006, Lumi D used the biggest sporting event in the world to release another international hit song. Dance, a track featuring a sample of Whitney Houston's I Wanna Dance With Somebody, was released on the FIFA World Cup album soundtrack. It became a club hit all over Europe. Lumi D's sophomore album, Unexpected, was released in the spring of 2007 under TVT Records. Just before the release, she spoke to EveryUrbanThing.com about the process of creating the album, saying, This time around, I got to do an album. The first time around, the world heard my demo. That's basically what it was. I had a really big song which landed me the deal, and they wanted an album in two weeks. I had to mix down my demo, and that's what came out as my album. This time, you're getting to hear my process through the years and the different emotions I've been going through. The first single, She's Like the Wind, a cover of the Patrick Swayze pen soft rock ballad from the film Dirty Dancing, dropped the same month in the US and Europe. As to be expected, this single, plus the other two to follow from the album, did much better overseas than in the US. The success in the US Lumi D hoped to have again, being signed to an American label, didn't last long. TVT closed its doors in 2008. Most artists would feel lost and frustrated, but Lumi D did a smart thing back in 2003 when she first got in the music game. She created her own label, Logi Music Entertainment, something that she could call her own and fall back on just in case things fell apart. So when they did, she was more than happy to take advantage of her safety net. By 2010, she would become a mom the year prior, continue working on her craft, and release a couple of mixtapes on her own label. There was also word that she was working on a full-length album which was set to be released sometime that year, but ultimately didn't happen. Over the next decade, Lumi D continued writing, recording, performing, and releasing her music through multiple mixtapes and digital singles. In December 2019, she finally released her first Christmas song called Sleigh Ride. While doing promotion for the single, she mentioned that she had a complete album ready to go, minus the title, and it would definitely be dropping in early 2020. It didn't. As of the making of this video, there hasn't been any official word as to what happened, but we can possibly speculate the worldwide pandemic may have had something to do with it. Hopefully, Lumi D fans will be able to experience her official third album soon. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video and subscribe for more amazing content. See you next time.